Hi, and welcome back to Campus Conversations. I'm your host, Dean Shannon Campbell, and I am here with one of our amazing seniors from the Department of Communication, Sophie Reinhardt. <laughs> Sophie, welcome to the show. Thank you, I'm glad to be here. <laughs> well, it's such an honor to have you here because I know that you are the president of Second Story Media. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about what Second Story Media is and what you do? Yeah, of course. So um, Second Story Media is a student-run communications and advertising agency um, in the Department of Communications. We are completely student-run um, and it's a it's been a really great opportunity for me and all the other students in the class. Great. So you say it's a completely student-run agency and an integrated agency. Yeah. So you're doing public relations work, you're doing advertising work. I'm guessing that you're doing design work as mm -hmm. well and some marketing work. Who are your clients? Who do you work for? So this semester, um, I've been in second story for three semesters now. Um, this semester, our clients are Bark Mobile. They're a local um, cellular service in the high country. Um, we are also working with Benevolist, which is a nonprofit as a adjacent organization. Um, they make registries online for nonprofits to be able to put out and get donations through those. Mm. Um, and then this semester, we are also working with ADM Showcase on Appalachian State's campus. Oh, wonderful. So now we've used some acronyms here, ADM, so that's Apparel, Design, and Merchandising. Yes. And Showcase is? So it's um, the big fashion show that they have at the end of the year. Oh, okay. Um, their senior students is really who we put as the spotlight oh, for this wonderful. project. Oh, yeah. wonderful. That sounds fun. It is. It's very fun. So what sort of skills have you gained um, being a member of and then president of Second Story Media? Um, so the skills that I've really gained, I've gained a lot of organizational skills, um, leadership skills, but I've also developed a lot of like hard skills as well. Like I've learned how to make client briefs mm. um, on the advertising side of things because I was the accounts director and executive before I became the president. Um, I've also learned how to use like Basecamp, which is the platform we use to organize all of our things as well as like Google Drive further. Right. Yeah. Well, did you work a lot on when you think about these sort of news releases, do you feel like this enhanced your ability to do the writing that you're going to be doing in PR and advertising and the pitching that you might be doing to journalists? Uh, do you feel like those core competencies mm -hmm. that employers are looking for when they're yeah. hiring an entry level person, were those enhanced by your participation? Definitely. Um... One big thing that we got to do last semester was we did a full rebrand for someone, one of our clients, and then we pitched that rebrand to them. So I have been able to develop that skill and develop um, how to present to someone, mm -hmm. take their feedback, and then move forward with that. Right. That was a big thing for me and the other people who were involved on that project. Wonderful. Now, I've also heard that there's some sort of a marathon event that you all do. <laughs> Tell me more about that. What is that about? Yeah, so it's called Create-a-thon. Um, Create-a-thon itself is a nonprofit and we work based off of what they do. So our Create-a-thon, it's a 24 hour marathon style event where we get there um, on a Saturday morning and then we meet with nonprofits because that's who we do our work for at that event. Oh, that's wonderful. Solely nonprofits. Um, and then throughout that event, we develop a whole campaign for them based on what their needs are. So I was able to do my first one this past fall. We do ours every fall. Okay. And I worked with um, Spirit Ride, if you've heard of them. And we were able to develop a bunch of things for them, a few extras. And then the best part of that is being able to present our work and watch their reactions to the stuff that we've been able to produce for them. So what sorts of things did you create for Spirit Ride? So we worked on some social posts for mm. them um, and we're able to give them the graphics and the content there. We developed a new logo for them during the event. Um, we also developed a small campaign for them for uh, Giving Tuesday. If you're unfamiliar with Giving Tuesday, it's like the Black Friday of the nonprofit world mm -hmm. where they ask people to give. Um, and then the cool little extra we did for them is based on the horses that they have at their facilities, we created stickers for the kids who ride those horses to be able to like take those home. And that was all done within 24 hours? It was. Wow. Yeah. That's incredible. Now, 
for a nonprofit that is interested in having access to this yeah. sort of incredible opportunity, mm -hmm. what do they need to do? Do they apply? Do they have to pay for this? No, it's completely free. It's completely pro bono. Wow. Um, and then how we've done it in the past, if people reach out to us mm -hmm. at our like second story App State email address, then um, we're able to work with them, gather what they're wanting out of the event and kind of we're able to tell them if we are able to produce the work that they're interested in or not at that event. Um, and then we go from there. This past semester, we didn't even have enough. So we were reaching out to local nonprofits. Um, so I'm not sure that everyone in the high country really knows that we do this, um, but it is a great opportunity for them. It really is. And to have the expertise mm -hmm. of students and are there professionals there? Or are you just saying, these are the skills that I've learned and you have someone like you that's a graduating senior that's president or a series of seniors that are really utilizing their skill set. So kind of how that works is we pick team leaders. Ah. Um, so where I was accounts, I met with all of the nonprofits before the event, um, organized what they were wanting and were able to give a client brief to each group for their nonprofit. Um, then everyone had a team leader. So that was me and my group. Um, and from there, that team leader was able to delegate, um, dive into the work, make sure that we're staying on a time, like our time limit, because it only is 24 hours. Right. Um, but we also are able to meet with a representative from that nonprofit that day of as well. Okay, I have to know. What's the punishment if I fall asleep? Because <laughs> like, I would love to do it, but I can't, I cannot. <laughs> well, I'm gonna be so honest. Um, I thought the same thing, but when you're on such a time crunch, um, I didn't find myself falling asleep, however, there were a ton of people taking naps. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just wondering as the account person, can you schedule a little uh, cat nap in for someone? I'm just saying. Oh my goodness, that sounds amazing. So now what are your plans? I'm, you're a senior. Yeah. You'll be graduating in May. Mm -hmm. What are your plans after graduation? So as of right now, what I want to do as a career is I do want to work in accounts management. Great. Um, because I have found with Second Story that that's such a passion of mine. Mm -hmm. And from graduation, I'm not sure exactly where I'll be. I've been looking at some internships, but I've also applied to graduate school. Great. Mm -hmm. Now, I also know your communication studies yes. major. And your minors, one of them is also in the college, right? Mm -hmm. So it's sustainable development. Uh -huh. And you also have a second minor mm -hmm. in nonprofit organization. Organization. Tell me how those minors um, have also contributed to yeah. your overall learning, the way that you're approaching public relations and um, your skill set as an accounts expert. Yeah. Um, as far as sustainable development goes, it kind of is something that I'm passionate about, but also it pushed me to have an interest in the nonprofit organization side of things. Um, and with the nonprofit minor, that's been extremely helpful in working with nonprofits mm -hmm. and nonprofit adjacents that we've been working with. So when it came to like create a I had a thorough understanding of what a nonprofit does, but also what a nonprofit needs. So I was able to communicate and bounce ideas off of them in a way that maybe helped them figure out what they were wanting out of this create a event. Now, I know a lot of people will say, okay, I get what nonprofit management is, yes. but you said you have a passion for sustainable development. Mm -hmm. And I often find it's kind of like using the term liberal arts. People are yeah. like, what exactly are liberal arts? Mm -hmm. What exactly is sustainable development? You say you have a passion for it. Yeah, so sustainable development, um, like focusing on sustainable, the sustainable side of things, it's focusing on issues such as um, climate change, mm. um, greenwashing, that's been a big thing in my communication side of sustainable development. So these things are really important to realize that we've got to make changes in the future. Um, or to continue to save our planet, um, to continue to live the way we do. Mm -hmm. And then the development side of things is making sure that we are making those changes so we can keep living the lifestyle that we do. Right, and mm -hmm. for the future, Yes, right? of course. And I think that says a lot. It's There's that saying that about a man who plants a tree that he will never be able to sit under. Yeah. And I think that's the whole concept of sustainable development. Definitely. It's not just about me, it's about the future. When I changed to that major, I started to figure out that it was going to be more nonprofit based and with yeah. that I was going to have to communicate. So mm -hmm. then I changed to communication studies and took on the nonprofit minor, which yeah. is kind of crazy, but that's how I got where I am. I, it, <laughs> it makes complete sense. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's great.
Now I'm graduating in three. What? Yeah. I felt badass. I was like, <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to be like, well, five or six is like that two minors. No, yeah, three. I'm graduating in three. Well. And I'm a first generation. He said oh you were my first generation. Gosh, we didn't even see. These are the things that would have came out with, oh, with 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> are you serious? Yeah. It's such an honor. And, a, you know, that's something that Jackie and I talk about. When yeah. you're a first generation college student, it's not just when you graduate, oh, I've graduated and now the playing field is level. Yeah. There's so many things that we don't know about. Yeah. Um, and going to grad school and what that means and the importance of different things that you should be doing as an undergrad. Yeah. We don't have those same networks. No. And so now, I mean, I, I thought you were the bomb before, but, <laughs> now, <laughs> but now well, thank knowing, you. you know, because yeah. I know exactly what you've had to yeah. traverse. Yeah. And and go through. Sometimes you can't get, just get over things. You gotta go through things yeah. to get to the. I know the things you've gone through. <laughs> so where are you from? I'm from Elkin, North Carolina. I know Elkin. Yep. I yep. drive. I drive right past. Well, when I drive to Winston Salem, mm -hmm. I you see go, Elkin. Yeah. And we used to have someone in our office who was from who drove from Elkin every yeah. day. So, oh my goodness. So you're from a community like I'm from. I'm from a small Where are you rural. From? I'm from a Waynesville, Missouri. Okay. It's 2,500 2, people yeah. in the Ozark. So <laughs> very similar, yeah. very similar backgrounds. So that's great. Yeah. What brought you to App State? Um, going to a small school and living in a small town my whole life, mm -hmm. I wanted to have like that small town feel. Um, and I always knew App kind of had that, Boone mm. had that. Um, so I, I don't know, I've just always loved Boone. I love being in the mountains. Mm. I love being relatively close to home. Exactly. Um, so, I mean, it's like an hour and 20 from here. So I, mean, I was the same yeah. distance. Now I went down the highway from Springfield, Missouri to Waynesville, but yeah. it was an hour, hour and 15 minutes. Yeah. And it was the perfect distance. And you're right, you get the big school experience mm -hmm. here and with the athletics and all of the events and yeah. your ability to do second story media with the coziness yeah. of a town that's really manageable. Yeah. I feel like it's the best of all worlds. Yeah, I agree. And a welcoming community. Definitely. I don't know if you felt that, but the minute I got <laughs> here, it was like, oh, okay. You know, people were like, hi, how are you? Yeah. Throughout the community. You're gonna miss it, aren't you? Yeah, I am. I'm gonna miss it a lot. Mm -hmm. Um, but I've enjoyed my time here and uh -huh. I'm glad to be here. And so. it's time. It's time to move yeah. onward and upward. That's yeah. what we do. So, grad school, where are you thinking? Um, I've applied to VCU Brand Center, so I'd be in Richmond. Um, it's Virginia Commonwealth I, University. Yes, yes. Um, so, that's a possibility. Definitely a much larger city than yes. I've ever been in. Yes. Um, but... You're ready. I'm ready. You're I ready. think it'll be a great opportunity if it happens. I do too. Well, keep me posted. I will. And we'll keep everyone else posted. That's okay. <laughs> I think we're going to have a following. <laughs> Thank you for having that sense of consciousness. Um, we so appreciate the work that you do as president of Second Story Media, the value you add to the high country by doing things like this create-a-thon. Well, thank you. And so it has been my pleasure to meet with you today. I've thoroughly enjoyed meeting with you as thank well. Thank you for sharing your story. Of course.